Hi guys, TSW here. This is not my main, it is a Tauren Warrior. Okay, so I'm going to go through like the taunt, not taunt, the uh, threat rotation and what you need to do when as a low level uh, warrior. Uh, this is a good example of being a protection warrior. You die quite a lot and if you've got aggro of everything you'll die first and you'll die the most so first of all get that in your head that you die a lot so when it comes to dying it won't come as much of a shock however obviously dying the like fewest amount of times possible in an instance the better and try to have your group leave you as well good thing about um, is the Q's. How long was that? It's even less at level 80 because at these levels not everyone's looking for a Q all the time and there aren't that many low levels. Um, so running back to dead mines now. I know where I'm going as I'm alliance. Um, which instance are they in? I don't know yet. But yeah I've just done half of one of um, dead mines but the group left which is always cool uh, talents that's something to talk about I suppose um, go for you I'll post a um, talent calculator with a d really good leveling spec on my uh, blog so there will be a link to that in the under bar so check that out if you want a uh, decent talent uh, build for leveling. Right, finally we get to the instance. Oh, the dead mines again? Huh? Yes. Okay. Right. So, just inspect the healer, what kind of gear is he in? Got leveling shoulders and chest, so this person should be quite good, as they have level 80. We've got decent priest, decent mage, and a bad geared rogue, but never fear. Right, and they uh, start pulling. That's always cool. Uh, Work on a bit of battle shout to increase damage. Let's try and keep that up as much as possible. Right, so I'm gonna taunt this guy to get AOE, uh, AOE to get ranged aggro on him, beat him down with some heroic strikes, and when it procs, use revenge. When multiple mobs are out, use thunderclap when you've got a spare global use the moralizing shout it costs virtually virtually no rage so you can use it whenever you want pretty much um, and shield block whenever you've got whenever you're taking damage basically and it's off cooldown preferably melee as that's all it reduces damage as it Easy to block. Uh, whenever you are pulling ads or anything, save your uh, shockwave or, in this case, just my thunderclap. As when you've got them all on you, if people start AOE and you've not thunderclapped them once, you're gonna regret not thunderclapping because more likely than not you just wiped your rage. Also keep looking behind you because everyone will pull everything and just be aware of what they're pulling. Like if they keep pulling more obviously they want to kill more and you should probably bear this in mind and clear with you at the front of the pack. This is why I like warrior tanking because you're always in the front and you set the pace so if you know you can only play WoW for half an hour or whatever, you can set yourself a time limit and try and stick to it. There's an elite in this pack, so I'm going to assume that this group will kill him first. So I'll try and sunder this Defias Miner thing, whatever, not the Miner, Overseer. And start spamming my Sundrama. Sundrama gives insane threat when it stacks. And I know that um, 
Devastate does more damage when it's on five stacks. Um, so see, I've got a pack on me. Use Thunderclap, get them all on me, and then just talk, uh, tab around, um, talk anything which doesn't look like it's on me. Okay. Uh, just if I think at level twenty you get cleave. That would be the ability I'm spamming the most in this instance. Like now, I'd be cleave, 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 cleave. Cleave, 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 cleave. Basically cleave every time Thunderclap or Shockwave is on cooldown and you're not revenging a single target, okay? Because it basically just spreads your aggro throughout. And we come to our first boss. Gakor. Or Zor, sorry, something like that. Some guy dinged GZ to him. Check the healer's got enough mana, go for Blood Rage, go for a Battle Shout, as I want people to do as much damage as possible. Uh, he stuns me straight away, knocks me down rather. Going for the Thunderclap, Damage Shout, Shield Block. Going for the Heret Strife, I've got nothing else to do than go for Revenge. Start spamming my. Sundra, I'm going for a Thunderclap, then keep spamming my Sundra. Sundra does not seem to be attacking, uh, like applying every time I click it. Maybe because my hit rate is appalling. But he's got five stacks. I can stop hitting it for now. I can put it down my priority list. And as it is a single target, I don't need to worry about Thunderclap in every cooldown either. I can focus on my heroic strikes, my revenges and my shield slams and also I'd still whack in a concussion blow and a shockwave for additional threat. Um, do I want this? I'll greet a mace. Good for if I need to DPS anything. However, having said that, being a tank doesn't mean you do bad DPS. Well it does, but you don't have to do bad DPS. Revenge hits like a truck. Is that a leak on here? Notice what I did there. I um, went for the elite, got a heroic strike on her, so I knew I had some threat on that. Then I went for the non elite, did a heroic strike on that. So I had uh, heroic strikes on both of them. Meaning I had decent aggro initially, because like in a second having a heroic uh, strike on them will be well, will be good because no one else will have you know even maybe even noticed them to attack. So it means I get an extra second or two on the mob without anyone being on like threat table or whatever. And then, so I basically single targeted them and got some threat until. Thunderclap came on to cooldown, off cooldown, and then I whacked him with the Thunderclap. And Thunderclap at these levels is just win. It's crit in a hundred. Insane at these levels. And I've got really bad gear, no, no helium gear. I've even got a thun uh, battle shot at the moment. But yeah, this is the basic tanking rotation for a low level character. Uh, it helps if you're warrior, but you know, having a knowledge of the other classes can't do you wrong. And hey, if you've got a really bad player in your group, you might be able to tell him how to play. Or refer them to this video, I don't know. Right, okay, I'm going to end it here. I've got no idea how long this video is going to last for. If you like what you see, subscribe. Comment if you've got any thoughts or suggestions for new videos. I've been TSW or TSVV, the Tauren Tank. Uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.